right. So you can keep your arm kind of out towards me here. Your job, of course, is to hold still. Okay. Um, like I said, after a few minutes, you'll get into it. Ready? Yeah. I chose 12 different artists in town, including myself, to go into the museum and create drawings based off of pieces that they were inspired by. They were from all over the museum's collection, from Native American to the contemporary collection. Basically taking a piece from the museum and interpret it to a one color, just black drawing that would then be turned into a tattoo that we would give away free. The 12 artists came up with 45 illustrations. They're just black drawings, no bigger than four inches. And that's what everybody has to choose from. No other alterations. You, what, what's up on the flash wall is what you get. Um, kind of similar to old school flash tattoo designs. First time getting a tattoo in a museum. <laughs> so today after I made my tattoo appointment, I went to the Native American wing and I found the inspiration for the tattoo that I got, which was so cool. I've never even been in that wing of the museum before. Yeah, awesome. So I felt like the intended audience for this because I wanted the tattoo. It made me think about art I haven't thought about before and it made me feel kind of inspired and it made me want to come back someday with my sketchbook and like check out some of the inspiration over there. Great. Pretty interesting wing tattoo. I have worked with the museum before. I used to do projects here. I went to school here. So I figured it was a good uh, time for me to come back to the museum after a long time of being a wet. And I really loved working here and I did children's workshops and a lot of cool art. And uh, so it was really just an opportunity to work in the museum again. That's the main thing that got me stoked. And then uh, seeing the artists you put together was that's what sealed the deal. Can I see it from a distance? To have tattoos happen in a museum creates a dialogue around whether that should be happening at all. And I'm interested in having those kinds of conversations about what is art and what is not art and kind of pushing the boundaries of those things. My idea with this project was to think about art and how no matter whether it's a painting or uh, whether it's you know, sculpture or tattoo, um, the main thing is how you connect with that audience and leave a lasting impression because you want to have something that touches that audience and, you know, makes it last in their minds and hearts and you want art to be forever.